Hey everybody, John if you could hear hello and good afternoon greetings from somewhere near Foglesville, uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Local time here it is 128 and we are down to 15 miles to our destination in Allentown. Temperature is 66 degrees. Once again, today it is Saturday, October 27, 2019. First and foremost, how about a shout out to Pinay Trucker Girl? Please check out her channel, Pinay Trucker Girl. I'm sure a lot of you have already been uh, subscribing to her channel. Let's see. A lot of you have been asking about the Hot Logic uh, cooking, food warmer, cooker. It's working great. It really is. But I recommend getting the uh, the bigger one if you have uh, if you have a passenger or a co-driver. I don't know, it seems to me the bigger is always better, right? You can always... You can always put little stuff in it, but when you need to be... get, you need, When you need to put more stuff in it, then you're, you're doomed. And the, the nice thing about the Hot Logic is it draws so, so little power. I think even a hundred watt inverter can uh, can supply it. You don't need a big inverter to power that thing. So far, I've had no problems with it. No problem of drying up. Uh, no problem overcooking it. I like it. I mean, that is if you plan to cook over long periods of time. It's it's not really designed to cook in a hurry, and that's the whole point of it. Is that you can plug it in while you're driving. Five, six hours later, it's done. I don't know, I've been thinking about getting a George Foreman grill. I used to have a George Foreman grill before. But there's no way in the world that I would ever consider cooking inside the truck with a George Foreman grill because all that oil and steam will stink your truck like a dirty old kitchen. But then again, we're coming up to winter. Yeah, maybe next spring, think about it. Besides, I can't have all these food in my truck. It's the same reason as uh, alcoholics shouldn't have any alcohol around them, right? How about a couple of shout out to Peter Locke, Eric Belenik, uh, da -da 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 -da. Robert Weber,
Lisa Page. And many, many more out there. Good afternoon, Mr. Walmart. By the way, speaking of uh, thinking of pre-planned, I don't have any pre-planned yet. Knowing my boss, he will probably load me right out of here in Fogglesville or right here in Allentown. Who knows? We'll know soon enough. I don't know. Who? I'm hoping that. Uh, I'm hoping that this Dannon over there in Allentown, the place where we're delivering to. I'm hoping they will unload us earlier today. I'm hoping that they will unload us by the time I get there. Or, you know, before 9 o'clock. That would be really an ideal outcome. Alright, we are to follow Interstate 78. Time is 135, temperature is 67 degrees.
All right, exit 57. Okay, there we go. Three more miles to go. I'd say about eight years ago, or even longer than that yet. Yeah, probably around that. I once drove from Wisconsin to, I was driving with, I was driving for WEL at that time. See that hospital right there on the right? Anyway, picked up a load out of Wisconsin, delivering it here in the, in the terminal in Allentown. And I had a very, very bad attack of gout on my right knee. And it was incredible. The pain was just... Man, it was excruciating. By the time I got to the yard, I asked Lisa, the manager over there, to take me to the hospital. So I go into the hospital over there, right? And she drives me over there. Only to wait for, I don't know, five hours. In an emergency room. Now there's something I don't understand about emergency room. Why do they call it emergency room when you have to wait five hours? to see a doctor. So anyway, I waited and waited. Finally, I told him, I said, I am in so much pain right now. So they, I think they did an x-ray and they, they even drained some of the fluid. I said, uh, there's something wrong here. My wife goes, no, 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 you're not getting surgery there. I said, I want you to go home. We'll check it out here in Sheboygan. So I did. I went to Sheboygan and by the time I got there, it the fluid all build up again. And I told them what was happening. They took samples and they took it to the lab and nothing, you know. And I said, uh, Pennsylvania, Allentown claims that it's infected and they need to do surgery real quick. And the doctor says, I don't know what they're talking about. There's nothing wrong with your knee. And I'm thinking, was that hospital in Allentown just trying to make money out of me? You know? I don't know. We'll never know. By the way, right now, I'm doing 
something very, very dangerous. I am ignoring the Rand McNally GPS and I'm just following the Google map because the Rand McNally has got me going different directions.
good thing about this place is their gates are never closed, so... But they, I think I know exactly where I want to park, though.